It's Hump Day News in under four minutes. Welcome to Hump Day News. Let's get started. Let's get political. I've noticed I always talk about Sanders, Clinton, and Trump. Let's talk about the other candidates. Do they even matter? Who are they? Tom Cruise. Ted, Ted Cruz. You sure it's Ted Cruz? Who the heck is he? Has he done anything? I think I'd rather have Tom Cruise. Moving right along. What's trending? On Sunday, we lost an acting icon. Doris Roberts passed away at the age of 90. She was recently known for her role as Marie Barone on the TV show Everybody Loves Raymond. But she's also been in a ton of movies. You should check out her work. You'd be impressed. International news. The South American country of Ecuador suffered a 7.8 earthquake on Saturday. They're still looking for survivors, but so far there's about 350 deaths and more than 2,500 injuries, with the more expected. I'm still looking, but I haven't found a way to change my Facebook profile picture. I wonder why. Entertainment! The Jungle Book came out this weekend, and I was excited to see it. It was one of those movies I grew up watching. But when I grew up, it was a cartoon version. There are a lot of stars as the voices, most notably Bill Murray, Christopher Walken, and Idris Elba. Scarlett Johansson was in it too. I'm not sure why. It was such a small part. I don't know, maybe she needed the money. Anyway, it was a great movie. It very much so exceeded all my expectations. And they did very well hiding the fact that they used a green screen almost the whole time. You couldn't even tell. It was very good. It's a must see, even at nighttime, during prime time. Sports! 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 Last Wednesday night was a pretty historic night in the NBA. The Gold State Warriors broke the Chicago Bulls' single season record of 72 wins. The Warriors did this by destroying the Memphis Grizzlies by like 50 points. But who cares? That same night was Kobe Bryant's last game in his illustrious 20 year career. And he went out with a bang, scoring 60 points. And they won. Yeah, they were playing the Utah Jazz and they weren't playing for anything, but whatever. I'm not gonna let facts get in the way of a good story. Now Kobe can retire, and the Lakers can focus on rebuilding with that snitch, D'Angelo Russell. That's it. Like, share, repeat. See you next week.